Florida's coastline is a marvel of human ambition, towers of glass and steel rising from the sand, promising sun, luxury, and escape. Miami Beach and Sunny Isles Beach are global symbols of this dream, drawing people from everywhere to invest in oceanfront condos. This is the Florida of postcards. A place built on confidence, resilience, and the belief that we can outsmart nature. Hurricanes have battered these shores, but each time, the skyline grows taller and more expensive, a monument to relentless optimism. Yet, beneath this glittering paradise lies a fragile foundation. The ground is a porous, shifting landscape of ancient limestone, more sponge than stone. For decades we've focused on threats from the sky, storms, rising tides, and built sea walls, elevated roads, and hurricane-proof towers. But the real danger may be the one we can't see, a slow, relentless process happening under our feet. This hidden threat is land subsidence, the gradual sinking of the ground itself. It doesn't arrive with the drama of a hurricane, but unfolds in millimeters, year after year. Subsidence challenges the very idea of permanence on this coastline. What if the greatest threat to Florida's paradise isn't the water that surrounds it, but the very earth it's built upon? The question isn't if the ground will shift, but how we'll respond when it does. The story of Florida's coast is no longer just about building higher. It's about understanding what's happening below. As the ground quietly sinks, the future of this paradise hangs in the balance. The edge of Florida's dream is more fragile than we ever imagined. We trust the ground beneath us, but in parts of Florida, that trust is quietly eroding. Advanced satellite technology has revealed a startling truth. The ground is sinking, sometimes just millimeters a year. It's imperceptible, but it's happening, especially where development is heaviest. Scientists have identified dozens of high-rise buildings in Miami Beach and Sunny Isles Beach that are measurably sinking. These aren't old structures. They're modern icons of wealth and glamour. The ground beneath them is compacting under immense weight, year after year. For residents the news is unsettling. Their homes perched high above the ocean are slowly descending. This isn't a distant threat, it's a present reality, unfolding in slow motion. Even a few millimeters a year adds up, an inch or more over a decade. In low-lying South Florida, every inch matters. Sinking ground amplifies the threat of sea level rise making flooding more likely, and, more severe. The silent sinking is lowering the entire landscape, making the coastline more vulnerable with each passing year. The illusion of solid ground is fading, replaced by a new awareness of risk. The question now, how do we adapt to a threat we can't see or feel, but that's changing everything beneath our feet? The answer will shape the future of Florida's coast. Florida's foundation is ancient limestone, porous, riddled with holes, and saturated with water for millennia. This Swiss cheese bedrock isn't as solid as it seems. The weight of modern development, high-rises, malls, endless pavement, compacts the soft ground below. Areas, once wetlands, are especially vulnerable, as artificial fill is less stable than native soil. Decades of groundwater pumping for cities and farms have lowered the water table, reducing the pressure that supports the land. As water is removed, the ground compresses and sinks. Canals and drainage systems have further altered the region's delicate hydrology, accelerating subsidence. Rising seas push salt water into aquifers, contaminating freshwater and weakening the limestone. The result? A perfect storm of heavy buildings, water mismanagement, and encroaching seas. Florida's sinking isn't caused by one thing, but by a century of reshaping a fragile landscape. The ground beneath paradise is anything but permanent. Slow sinking puts immense stress on everything built above and below ground. Buildings are designed for minor settling, not for decades of uneven, ongoing subsidence. Foundations can crack or tilt, causing walls to split and floors to slope. This differential settlement can threaten a building's structural integrity. Underground utilities, water, sewer, gas, are at risk too. As the ground shifts, pipes can bend, crack, or break, leading to flooding and contamination. Roads and sidewalks buckle creating hazards and driving up maintenance costs. Even a few inches of sinking can turn a road into a flood zone. Bridges are especially vulnerable. Any shift in their foundations must be closely monitored. The damage isn't sudden but accumulates. A slow, costly drain on public and private resources. Insurance may not cover gradual sinking, leaving owners with the bill. 
For cities it means escalating budgets for repairs and replacements. Subsidence is a hidden tax, paid in constant maintenance and uncertainty. The ground's slow descent is reshaping the future of Florida's infrastructure. For years, Florida's sinking coast was invisible, too slow to notice, too subtle to measure. The breakthrough came from space, with satellites using Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, or INSAIR. By comparing radar images over time, scientists can detect ground shifts as small as a few millimeters. INSAR revealed the patterns of subsidence, pinpointing the buildings and neighborhoods most at risk. This technology turned a hidden problem into a mapped reality, but satellite data is just the start. Engineers and geologists follow up on the ground, using GPS and sensors to confirm and monitor movement. This combination of space-based and on-site investigation creates a powerful early warning system. Now, officials can identify vulnerable areas before damage becomes severe. In the past, subsidence was discovered only after cracks or floods appeared. Today, science gives us a crucial heads up. Knowledge is our first line of defense against a shifting landscape. The reality of subsidence hits hardest for those living in its path. For condo owners, news of a sinking building brings anxiety and tough questions. Is my home safe? Will its value drop? Can I sell? Insurance may become more expensive or unavailable. Special assessments for repairs can be crushing. The dream of coastal living can quickly turn into a nightmare of financial uncertainty. City leaders and engineers face their own challenges. How to ensure safety without sparking panic or crashing the real estate market. Assessing and reinforcing buildings is costly and complex with no easy answers. Residents must choose, invest in repairs, adapt to constant risk or consider leaving altogether. These are not just technical or financial decisions, they're deeply personal. The future of entire communities hangs in the balance. Living on Florida's coast now means confronting the possibility that paradise may not last forever. Land subsidence is a formidable challenge, but not an insurmountable one. Engineers are developing new ways to build resilience, using deep pilings, ground improvement, and advanced monitoring. For existing buildings, options like underpinning or soil stabilization are costly, but sometimes necessary. The most powerful tool is knowledge. Ongoing satellite monitoring and risk mapping can guide smarter development. Transparent communication is key. Residents and buyers need to know the risks. Living on Florida's coast now requires a new mindset, letting go of the illusion of permanence. It's about adapting, not conquering, combining science, engineering, and community collaboration. The goal isn't to stop nature, but to learn to live with it. By facing the reality of subsidence, Florida's communities can work toward a safer, more sustainable future. The ground may shift, but resilience is possible. The story of Florida's coast is still being written. One, of adaptation, innovation, and hope. The question is not whether the land will change, but whether we can change with it. The future depends on how we respond to the ground beneath our feet.